Saru calls Burnham, telling her they have run out of time. Burnham tells Spock to return to the Discovery, but Spock cannot leave because the shuttle's engines were disabled by the weapon impact. And the Discovery is too damaged to risk lowering her shields to bring him aboard. As Leland's control continues to try to break out of the reaction cube, Georgia magnetizes it, just as Spock had done to Gant aboard the Section 31 ship. At the same time, Pike returns to the bridge of the Enterprise. As Spock reports that his shuttle is disabled and he cannot return to the Discovery. Pike orders him to a hold position and asks Saru. <laughs> what the hell else is he going to do? I don't know. <laughs> hey, just uh, stay right there. And that's an order. <laughs> and asks Saru on the status of Discovery Shields. Tilly is able to bring the shields back up to 40%, more than enough to see them through. Spock is being back to the Enterprise and Burnham activates the suit for the jump. As the battle continues to rage, the Red Angel takes flight once again and Saru orders Detmer to follow her signal. Pike orders all ships to clear the path as the drone ships attempt to stop Discovery and bids farewell to his friend Saru and his family aboard the Discovery. In sickbay, Colbert tells the unconscious Stamets that they were on their way. In engineering, Leland Control tells Giorgio that it will not end there. Giorgio smugly corrects him and also tells him that the magnetization will be painful and that she would like to hear him start screaming. As the nanotechnology in Leland's body is pulled to the floor, control obliges her. <laughs> and with Leland disabled, the Section 31 fleet is dead in the water, much like the ships at the end of Phantom Menace. <laughs> and Pike orders Amin to open fire. Using the Enterprise's phasers, Amin finishes off the defenseless drone ships. Giorgio reports to the bridge that Leland is dead and control is neutralized. All around, those who were brought together for the battle watched the Red Angel guide the Discovery into the wormhole. Poe from her shuttle, Serana from the Bowel fighter, Laurel and Tyler from the Cleave ship, and Pike and Spock from the Enterprise. The Discovery crew begins to feel the wormhole effects as they follow, burn them in. As the Discovery enters, the wormhole closes, the Enterprise, a portion of her saucer destroyed, flies past, joining the rest of the fleet. <laughs> 